What's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today I want to show you how to permanently disable uh, Windows Update. So you're going to open up a uh, run application and you can only do that by going to the uh, bottom left corner of the screen and then right click on the Windows icon and then click on run. Alternatively you can just type here uh, run and then uh, click on the run application. So uh, and then you just type in uh, services.msc and hit enter. So I just go ahead and click select any of these uh, services and then type W or you can just scroll down until you find uh, Windows. We are started with interested in Windows update. So look for uh, Windows update. It's right here. Uh, click on it to highlight and then right click uh, click on the properties and you can see the status setup type is automatic we are going to change that click on the on that to change to disabled and then click apply and ok so now you can see that it is uh, disabled so to permanently to permanently uh, disable the uh, the update we are going to uh, another step and that is ins involve uh, running the click the run application again and then click on it and type uh, reg edit registry editor and then click enter and uh, click yes so here on the uh, left sidebar, I select the HK local machine, click on it to expand, click on this uh, small uh, icon, and then uh, go to softwares, uh, look for uh, look for policies. So under softwares, go to uh, policies, policies is here, and then what you want is Microsoft expand Microsoft and then under Microsoft there, there is Windows so select Windows uh, so under Windows you are going to uh, create another uh, key so just uh, select uh, Windows and then right click on it and uh, place your, your cursor on new and uh, select key uh, give it a name say uh, Windows update uh, windows update uh, so it sh should be uh, one word windows update and hit enter so under windows update we're going to create another key or under key yes right click and then uh, select on key and type uh, something like au and hit enter again so make sure that a the folder that we just created au is selected and uh, on the right hand side click anywhere uh, right, just right click on anywhere and uh, place your cursor on new and uh, select d word that two bits value click on it and say uh, give it a name like say no uh, no auto uh, update no auto update should be uh, one word and then without spaces and then uh, hit enter so double click on the what we've just created uh, to open up the edit uh, word window and then under value data we're going to select one click one and click ok uh, so in that manner uh, you'll have uh, permanently disabled the windows update and, and let's say that uh, you want to change you want to change your mind uh, you want to you want to enable the Windows update. What to do is uh, let's go let's go to type in run again to open the run application, and then uh, type regedit and then click OK to open the registry editor, and then click OK again. Uh, go to this follow the same steps go to hk local machine 
and uh, choose softwares go to policies and go to uh, Microsoft uh, Windows go to the folder that we created it is called Windows update it's here uh, select it and delete right click to delete everything the content in there click yes so uh, another step that we are remaining with is to enable uh, the uh, Windows update services uh, open the run application again and then uh, type services uh, sorry uh, services dot msc and hit enter and then uh, select any of these and type w4 in order to find easily find the windows update so you can see windows update you can see that it is disabled right click on it uh, go to properties and uh, uh, select uh, automatic so apply and click ok so your windows update will be up and running and that's how you can actually uh, permanently delete uh, permanently uh, disable the windows update and you can also revert reverse the process that's it for this tutorial i'll uh, see you in the next one